Cody Rhodes is infuriated about how WrestleMania 40 played out, saying that it is nonsense that they wanted him to step aside for The Rock. Plus, Raw has been shocking everybody by the viewership numbers coming in this week on Raw, and we're going to break all this stuff down for you guys coming up on this episode of Wrestle Digest. So with that said, let's just jump right into the first topic of the video today, Brady, which is wrestling is cool again, and isn't it ever? I mean, what a time to be a wrestling fan. Every week, you're just hanging on a storyline. It's so fun. I love watching wrestling, and it, it seems like a lot of other people are as well, because it seemed that Raw's attendance on Monday was the best attendance since Raw After Mania, and it beat Raw After Mania, saying the wow. com combination of angles clicking right now with Liv and Dom, with the Wyatt Six, with Liv Morgan disrupting the Judgment Day, causing tensions between Finn Balor and Damian Priest, has just had a lot of people locked in every week to Monday Night Raw, to Friday Night SmackDown, and Brady... It is a fun time to be a wrestling fan, isn't it? Is it ever? I mean, you got so many different little pathways that are so significant to each little different storyline. And like as the as the article said, you know, the Judgment Day stuff. Uh, before that, even you had like the Sami Zayn and Chad Gable, and now you're still invested in Chad Gable and what he's uh, doing to Alpha Academy because the White Six are involved now, and he's being hunted down. I mean, it's just it's so entertaining. And, you know, you bring Seth Rollins back into the mix and you get, ha, 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 entertainment out the wazoo. I mean, it's it's great. I'm, I'm super excited for Money in the Bank. Yeah, 100%. Me too. I think Raw has been doing great things, but not to discredit SmackDown because they're on a roll right now with oh, the yeah. Bloodline stuff, with uh, LA Knight and Logan Paul and all the storylines they have going down there as well. I mean, it just has so many fans locked into watching these weekly shows and they are amazing shows. There are some amazing matches been shown on these, on these, uh, you know, just weekly episodes of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown, which has got a lot of people back into wrestling and really invested in what's going to play out at the next PLE, which is Money in the Bank this coming weekend, which our friend Brady is going to be at. But it is going to be fun to see what happens at Money in the Bank. Wrestling is cool again, and that's all that matters. But we're going to get into the second topic of the video today, which is Cody Rhodes is angry. And yes, Cody Rhodes is very upset about how... They played off the WrestleMania 40 events with people saying that, you know, he should step, should have stepped away to uh, let The Rock come in and face Roman in the big match at uh, WrestleMania. And today we actually got some crazy comments from Cody Rhodes where he said he's The Rock. He can do whatever he wants. I even saw this really fun podcast with two wrestling heads talking back and forth, and they said, I'm sure Cody's fine stepping aside for WrestleMania and then doing it later in the year. In my mind, I'm thinking, that's insane. That's the Super Bowl for what we do. And then he also went on to say, to get to that Sunday, the last day of WrestleMania, the last match is our Super Bowl. And it used to be financially. To get to that match was the big money match. That was when the pay was all of different, of course. He says, the, the idea that somebody thought, I'd just be cool with it. They don't know me. That's nonsense. I've worked my whole life for this. I mean, Brady, we're seeing a different side of the Cody Rhodes, which I really like. Is it a work? Maybe. But I think this is just pure emotion coming from Cody Rhodes. And it just seems like exactly how he would feel because that's how I would feel if I was in the same situation. Oh, absolutely. You know, the main event of WrestleMania is uh, is a force to be reckoned with. It's where dreams are made, careers are made, and, you know, storylines come to an end and are established. You know, things go down as a legacy. And, of course, the main event, Night 2, I mean, come on, who doesn't want to headline Night 2 of WrestleMania? I mean, it's just, it, I'd be pretty ticked off, too, uh, if I was Cody. Because The Rock, again, like Cody said, he's The Rock. He could probably do whatever he wants. So, fair play to Cody standing up now. It could be all a work with the uh, with the documentary coming out on YouTube as well. The uh, behind the scenes at WrestleMania 40, which I can't wait to check out tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I mean, could be a work. Could be. Uh, love that he's channeling that inner Homelander, maybe, you know? 
<laughs> yeah, definitely. I think I think we're seeing a different side to Cody Rhodes here. I think this is more personal Cody Rhodes than it is a work. It just kind of seems like he's just letting it out there about how he felt about these changes that, you know, maybe it was Triple H, maybe it was somebody else we don't really know. But at that time, it seemed like Triple H was the guy. He was the one planning WrestleMania, coining it the start of the Paul Levesque era. A lot of people did. So, but in my opinion... I think this match panned out way better than a Rock and Roman match could have ever. I think finishing the story for Cody was the perfect start for the Paul Levesque era. And, and I just think Paul Levesque didn't know it at the time. I think Cody Rhodes, obviously, he was so hot. He was the most over superstar. For him to come back to face Roman, Ro uh, Roman Reigns again two years in a row... To win the, the Royal Rumble two years in a row. To finish the story. And he finally did it. With help from John Cena. From The Undertaker. The Avengers assembled to help Cody finish the story. And... It just, it just, well, it was the perfect way to start this new era by introducing a new champion in Cody Rhodes. And I think this was the, definitely the best option. They didn't know it at the time, but I see where Cody is coming from here. I mean, man, if I was hit in his boots and, and someone came to me and said, yeah, you know, our original plan was for you to uh, win, the, win the World Rumble and go face Roman Reigns, but... Uh, you're actually going to face Seth Rollins and The Rock's going to come back and face Roman. I mean, I would be pissed. I mean, that's the big title that he wanted to win for his father. I mean, RIP Dusty Rhodes. So, you know, for them to come at him like that was definitely very disrespectful. And that's why I think this uh, is, a, is Cody Rhodes just expressing how he felt about the whole situation. Yeah, and, uh, you know, very well could be. Uh, as we said, you know, very good points on Cody's behalf, you know, not taking it, uh, doing doing what he believes in, you know, finishing the story. My God, I, uh, I, I figured last WrestleMania that Cody was probably going to finish the story. And then when they didn't do that, it was like, oh, my God, there's another year of uh, the tribal chief acknowledged right away. But deep down in my heart, man. I knew that it was going to be uh, that was going to be run back at this year's WrestleMania that just passed, and it was going to be a banger of a match, and it was completely like you said, uh, Avengers assembled. We got you can't see me. We got the dead man at WrestleMania. I mean, it was just fantastic. Yeah, one hundred percent. It was a great WrestleMania. One of the best WrestleManias that I think. I've ever watched. I think it was so fun to watch that main event uh, just play out in real time. I can't even imagine if you're in the stadium. You must have been freaking out if you're watching that live. Cold I mean, shivers. We were freaking out here watching it on the television. So, <laughs> But uh, yeah, shout out to Cody Rhodes. I mean, if it is a work, it could be to build up that tension between him and The Rock. But... You know, to me, it just seems more personal. But we want to hear your guys down below in the comment section. What do you think? Do you think Cody is letting it all out here? Or do you think it's a work? Do you think he's building this up with The Rock so when he comes back, they can have that big clash? Let us know down below in the comment section. We're going to get everybody's favorite topic here, which is comment of the day. And the comment of the day today goes to Alkine Prodigy, day one supporter here on the channel. He says... He's an NXT talent without the Judgment Day is a hilarious quote from this <laughs> video. And as you already know, me and Brady are the biggest Damian Priest haters on the internet. And this was something I said in the last video, which is very true. Without the Judgment Day, Damian Priest doesn't get out of NXT. Change my mind. I can't change your mind because it's right. It's the right opinion. It's the it's the right it's the right answer. And you know what? Mr. Prodigy, Mr. Day One, always here backing us up. Thank you for your continued support. And we know deep down that you and everybody else watching at home right now know that Damian Priest, old news. <laughs> 100 percent but like Brady said, shout out Elkheim Prodigy. He's been here since day one-ish. I mean Big supporter here on the channel. We love seeing all your guys' comments. You guys coming back to these videos. It means a lot to us. And if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure to go down below. Hit that like button. It helps push these videos out to all the wrestling fans on YouTube. Leave a comment. You might be featured in the next comment of the day. Just like our buddy Elcon Prodigy today. And subscribe to the channel. 
We're on the big push for 3,000 subscribers, and we're trying to hit it at, before the end of Money in the Bank. So, can you get us there before the end of Money in the Bank? Go down, hit that red button. We'd really appreciate it. And if you want to check out a video we did yesterday, it'll be popping up on your screen right now. But as always, I've been your host, KC, alongside my co-host, Brady. We'll catch you in the next one.